Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are gonna learn how to create realistic metahuman actors using DeepFace Live on metahuman characters. First of all, I have to say that the results won't be that great because the deepfake models aren't super high resolution. And also you'll need a powerful PC to run DeepFace Live. You can also do the same using DeepFace Lab, but uh, DeepFace Live is easier to use. For this tutorial, we're gonna use an NVIDIA GPU. I'll upload a longer version of this tutorial next. Anyway, without further ado, let's start the tutorial. First of all, open your browser and search up DeepFace Live and then open this link. Then scroll down to releases and click this link. The loaded website is in Russian, so you can change it to English. Now double click on DeepFace Live and download the NVIDIA build. After downloading the file, open it and you'll be greeted by the GUI. Firstly, set these settings and also download the face model you want to use. This will take some time to download, so minimize the window and start preparing your metahuman character. We can also use our own models made using DeepFace Lab, but I have not yet tried this method. I'll try it myself and also share the results. You can also follow other tutorials and I'll be posting their links in the description and in the comments section. And yeah, mind subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out when I upload a long version of this tutorial. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be using the Vin Diesel model for today. Now go back to your browser and open MetaHuman. Click Create and select a character that closely resembles Vin Diesel. Then click Create Selected. It's better to get some reference images of Vin Diesel's face. Now go to Blend and add some more characters who resemble some features of Vin Diesel like the eyes, nose, head shape, ears, oh. etc. Now edit the face so that it closely resembles our actor. After that, edit facial hair and fine tune the character. After you've done editing the character, Record your character doing some animations. This is the recorded clip that we are going to use for the input of DeepFace Live. Now go back to DeepFace Live and turn on file source. Check video file and browse to the video file on your hard drive's directory. Then uncheck auto rewind and uncheck real time. In stream output, select the source as merged frame and also add the directory where you want to save the sequence on your hard drive. Now click the play button on file source and wait for a few minutes. After the sequence has been rendered, Go to the output directory and check your frames. There might be some artifacts at the corner of the face. Um, we can fix that in a video editing software. I'll do a more refined version and make another tutorial in the future. To convert the frames into a video file, you can use a video editing software. I'll use Blender to do this. Open up Blender and go to the video editing workspace. In the timeline, press Shift and A together and click on image sequence. Then go to the sequence directory and press A to select all. Add the images and set the frame rate to 24 FPS. Adjust your resolution and then go to output. Select your output directory for the video and select the file format as FFmpeg video. Then select the encoding preset as H.264 in MP4 and then render the animation. Congratulations! You've made your own realistic metahuman actor using DeepFace Live. If you have questions and suggestions, then feel free to let me know in the comments. This channel totally depends on your support. So if you liked the video, then hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. You can subscribe if you want to be alerted whenever I release a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.